Hi, I'm Belgia, and this is Let's Play Red Dead Redemption. Last time we got royally screwed by DeSanta, so let's help the rebels in earnest. Hey, senor! You want trouble, friend? Manos arriba! Antilas! Tranquilo. Tranquilo, amigo. Tranquilo. Ya lo tengo. Muévese, cabrón. Muévese. El mundo es muy difícil. Mm -hmm. Tenemos que jugarlo bien. Ah, uh -huh. oh, Mr. Marston, I knew you would come. Thanks for the welcoming committee. I'm sorry, we cannot be too careful. The world is very dangerous. Especially when you greet it with a gun. Please. Mr. Marston, my father was killed yesterday. The army found him and accused him of treason. They cut out his heart and fed it to their dogs. He ended with this. Then he took the honor of two young girls. I'm sorry to hear that, Louisa. My father must not die in vain. His death must mean something. It'll mean that war is brutal and unnecessary and good people die. And that's all it will mean. That is not enough. Well, you know I'll do whatever I can. But I have problems of my own. We all have problems. This is about the people. My father died for his people. For these men and for millions like them, that they may be free. While there are guns and money, there won't be any freedom, Louisa. Mr. Marston, the movement is on the brink of great victory. Allende knows this and has sent for reinforcements. Abram Reyes asked personally that you stop them reaching Escalera. They are coming by the old trail. You must ambush them. I have my own family to worry about. Mr. Marston, I have lost my father. My mother is in the United States. My sister has fled. I have no family, just because. Please, good actions make you a good man. Then I'm doomed. But I will help you, out of respect for your loss. Thank you, Mr. Marston. Thank you. John Marston, you're a jerk. The army convoy is already on its way. I'm sorry about your father. His death must not be in vain. Now we shall fight even harder to win power for Abraham. I admire your devotion. He is a true revolutionary. A man who puts the needs of others before his own. A man who fights out of love rather than hate. But you know this already. I heard about the battle at Chuba Rosa. How he killed nearly a hundred soldiers to save your life. It'll go down in legend. I'm sure of that. Can I trust you, Mr. Marston? In what way? You have done so much for me and my family. But I still can't forgive you for helping Allende. For what you did to the rebels. I'm here for two men, that's it. Not to take sides. And certainly not to fight a war that isn't mine. It makes no sense. You make a choice by not making a choice, you know. Linde betrayed me. I saw him do bad things. Things that disgust even me. Allende is pura maldad. One day I will cut his heart out. But me, you, him, we're all shooting people. It don't really seem like we're so very different. The difference is why, Mr. Marcy? The ideals we hold, there can never be revolution without blood. Until people forget what they're shooting for, and just enjoy killing for its own sake. You Americans forget too quickly. That is the problem. If it wasn't for your revolution, you would still be making tea for the English. At least we knew where we stood. It's more difficult to understand why your own people treat you like shit. It is the same here. We fought off the Spanish. We fought off the French. We even fought off the Americans. Finally, Mexico won its independence. And all we've done since then is fight each other. 
At least you're keeping up tradition. It will end when Abraham takes control. When the Spanish left, we renamed this province Nuevo Paraíso, New Paradise. One day, it will live up to its name. Why do you doubt our revolution so much, Mr. Marston? I guess I can't pretend to understand your country's politics. But you think we are fighting for nothing? Take no notice of me. I ain't got much faith in power just now. That is exactly why we must continue to fight for change. Nothing ever really changes. You are a man who has lost his spirit. No doubt. I once believed it was possible to make a difference. The men I'm chasing, they did too. Then, if we spilled enough blood, we could change the way people think. Revolutions are always won with blood. And after the fighting's done? Free them. We ain't never free. Be honest with yourself, and you will be free. That must be what I've been getting wrong all these years. It is not far now. The army convoy will be coming from the east. We going to steal their supplies? No. Destroy them and kill everyone. Abraham wants to send a message. Do you have experience with explosives? A little. It's been a long time. Good. Because we do not. You will man the detonator. My men are waiting there for us. They will also need your help setting up the dynamite. I'll do my best. We will do this for my father, John. There they are. These men will help you rig dynamite on the road. Please tell them where to place it. I'll be waiting up above, watching for the wagons. Okay. Follow me, gentlemen. Vamos. Tell us where to place it. John Marston, munitions expert. This mission is all about planning. Done correctly, you can blow up the entire convoy in one go. Very one right here. And here. Here. Another one here. Set the last one here. Good. Now go. Luisa is waiting for you at the top of the hill. And now we get to sit with our trigger fingers on the plunger. Todos a sus posiciones. They are coming. Get ready, John. We will give them the surprises of their lives. There it is. Get ready. This explosive system is really complicated, and you'll only ever get to use it once. I don't think it works as a gimmick, really. It doesn't really help that there's a massive wait time for the convoy as well. We'd be better off picking them off as they come. Too soon. 
All that for nothing. I guess John's not that good at planning after all. Stop shooting! There are explosives in the wagon! That convoy is destroyed! Thank you, Mr. Marston. We are a step closer to power. My father would be very proud. I hope it was worth it. I must return to Campo Mirada. Meet me there when you can. I will do my best to return the favor. Well, we didn't exactly please Luisa that time. Let's go back and help her out some other way. wretched animal that Santa has been sent to oversee a massacre in El Sepulco. Come, we must stop him and finally kill that vermin and all of Allende's other followers. Hurry, I don't know how much time we have. Fifteen seconds in and this mission already looks promising. Santa can tell you where to find Javier Escuela. It is good that you are helping Luisa. It ain't right what happened to her father. She's a brave girl. Faster, stay with me. She can fight as well as any man. She ain't the only woman I've seen fighting for Reyes. Yes, women, even children. Everybody must become a soldier if we are to win this war. That's a lot to sacrifice. I just hope it's worth it. It is better to die free than live as slaves. I think it would be better just to escape the country. Nobody wants to live under the rule of a tyrant. Were you a soldier once, compadre? A soldier? No, I was never much good at taking order. So where did you learn about explosives? I guess some banks ain't easy to get into on weekends. It was impressive what you did at the bridge, destroying that convoy. The army is getting weaker by the day. I'm sure there's more supplies where those came from. We will destroy those too? I get they scare and making mistakes. We are closer to victory than you think. The Vulcro is just up ahead. All right. Tell your men not to open fire till I make a move. We don't want to give him a chance to escape. And leave DeSanta to me. I need him alive. We will wait for your lead, senor. En el nombre del gobierno provincial del coronel Allende y del estado de este país, te condeno a muerte por traición. ¿Tienes algunas últimas palabras? No. Come on, quick! Nothing like a shootout in a graveyard. At least they won't have to go far to bury the bodies. You pay for what? Wait! Do not let him get away. What a key! I won't let the Santa get away that easily. I'm pretty sure we can outrun him, and if not, I've got a horse. You betrayed us! It's you first, then Alinde! Spare me, and I will make you a rich man. Hey, 
Let me go. I am begging you. Let's go, shall we? My Ming will kill you. Yeah. Hopefully DeSantis' death will be a bit more glorious than Espinosa's was. I want to savor this moment. Come on! Mierda! Oh. of shit now, senor? Or would you like to pleasure yourself? I told you what you wanted! You know what they say. Never take a gun to a knife fight. Now we're even, Captain. See! Si. Viva Abraham Reyes! It is done. Come on. Now we find your friend. Are you crazy? We cannot stop now? I'm really glad I didn't waste a bullet on that guy. What a waste of my time. There is no time to stop! Let's go! There's some things you gotta finish yourself. That man is responsible for hundreds of innocent deaths. Maybe thousands. He will burn in hell. We all will, my friend. Espinosa is dead. The Santa is dead. The army is without leaders. We must move on Allende now before it is too late. First, you need to help me find Javier Escuela. I can understand why they don't help us find Javier first. We just bolt back to the States as soon as we could. I'm sure we'll get him eventually, though. Why are you looking for Javier Escuela? We was friends once. Long time ago. Not anymore. Old friends make their worst enemies. You're telling me? Escuela is known in this province. He was a revolutionary once, but then he went to your country. Now they say he kills for anybody who will pay. That sounds about right. Basta, basta, so, so. This place is deserted. Ah! Is it always this quiet? No, no. Ahora mismo, mátalo! Are you dead or just a local shark? Hey, you, lady. Hmm. Where's Javier Escuela? <laughs> Javier Escuela? He hasn't been seen around here in months. You shot up this place for him, huh? I wouldn't spit on him if he was on fire. I don't blame you. The Captain DeSantis said he was here. <laughs> and you believe him? You must be more stupid than you look. <laughs> Go shoot up some place, sauce. <coughs> <laughs> Classy broad. Next time we'll help Abraham and master the art of the silent death. See you then.